did. I wanted to design rocket ships and, and airplanes. And I even have the drawings. They were pretty cool. All of the above, I really did. And I was terrible at all of them, <laughs> at all of them. But I still, I still love it. I like that science doesn't care what I think, what you think, <laughs> it's science. It's hard, <laughs> it's so hard and it's slow and sometimes doesn't pan out the way you want it to, but it's still glorious. It's still glorious when it does work out. Yes, but, but they really are different things. Science is not a belief system. Science is not a belief system, so it's not my religion, it's science. I'm gonna say biology uh, because I'm really bad at math and I live in a house full of math geeks, by the way. So uh, it's so I'm saying biology went for the home team. Um, that's a tough one because I think I don't like to give virtues a hierarchy. Um, humans are complex, but if I had to pick one, I think I'd go with, with honesty. I have strong memories from almost every period of my life, but the vivid ones are when my kids are, were young. I know that's a cliche answer, <laughs> it's a cliche, but it's, I swear I can see my first child being born right now in my memory. It's like it happened yesterday. But the weird thing is I have four kids and I can't remember my last one. <laughs> so was I even there? <laughs> um, the ability everyone says this but the ability to be a musician and look i've tried for like three decades this is you know the ten thousand hour rule that you can you know if you put it no <laughs> i've tried I've put it at least ten thousand hours and i suck if i would i would love to be a great musician uh an espresso bean um you know what i'm a germaphobe and I, yeah, and so see, <laughs> I guess like massive confirmation bias every single day for me now. A lot of people think I'm organized and I have a systematic way about getting things done. Uh, and that's, I just scram, I'm in a constant kerfuffle. I think kerfuffle is my middle name. So I think that's probably, I'd say that. I, th I think that, uh, that a lot of people don't realize how empirical a lot of our research is, you know, because uh, I just, I do policy work, I do science policy and health policy, uh, and we really do try to root it in good methodologies. And I, and I think a lot of time, especially my hardcore science buddies, don't realize how sciencey a lot of the stuff we do it is. I think people need to recognize, you know, I'm hoping one of the legacies of this crisis is a greater appreciation of science and the value of science and of trustworthy science. So uh, I hope I hope that people just remember that, right? That good science matters and misinformation can do real harm. So I hope that long term, this is something that we take away uh, from this crisis.